OSHA requires operators of forklifts to be trained per OSHA 1910-178L for industry and construction. The employer of the employee using the forklift is responsible for verifying that the operator is qualified as per OSHA and ANSI ASME definition. Qualified means one who by possession of a recognized degree, certificate, or professional standing, or who by extensive knowledge, training, and experience has successfully demonstrated his or her ability to solve or resolve problems related to the subject matter, the work, or the project. The observers of this video understand that this video is not training and that training consists of classroom and hands-on evaluation by a qualified trainer. Always read and understand the operator's manual for the equipment you are operating. This is a pre-start inspection for a warehouse forklift. First, read the operator's manual to find out exactly what to check on the forklift you'll be operating. Always wear the appropriate PPE, personal protective equipment, gloves, safety glasses, hard hat, and steel-toed work boot. Get training. OSHA requires training on forklifts. Remove the key before doing your pre-start check. Open the engine compartment to check engine components and check the oil. Check battery connections and other engine components. Move the latch to close the engine compartment. Start your walk around inspection by inspecting the ROPS canopy. Check tires, wheels, and lug nuts. Fork carriage inspection. The fork shall be carefully examined for the following. Surface cracks, straightness of blade and shank, fork angle from upper face of blade to load face of shank, relative height of fork tips and set, operation of position lock, wear not more than 10% of shank, fit of fork arm mounting hooks or eye, markings shall be legible and do not operate a forklift that has damaged or worn forks. Check fork locks. They must work. Continuing around the front of the forklift, check hydraulic hoses, connections. Look for damage. Check tires, wheels, and lug nuts. Look at the ID plate. Check load capacity. Check the weight of the forklift and make sure the forks are correct that are on the forklift. This forklift has a capacity of 4,650 pounds, is equipped with side shift and 42 inch forks. The total weight of the forklift is 8,700 pounds. Check tires, wheels, and lug nuts. Look underneath the forklift for any leaks and verify that there is a static strap hanging from the forklift. Maintain three and four points of contact when getting into the seat. Adjust the seat, check and fasten your seat belt. Make sure the parking brake is set and the gear shifter is in neutral. Note, read and heed any hazard labels on the forklift. 
Check fork controls and the seatbelt. Clean up any and all debris that's inside the cab or on the floor. Now you're ready for the operational checks. Check brakes forwards and backwards. Check lights. Check fork controls. And the seat safety cutout. Check lift, tilt, and side shift controls. Inspect hoses, chains, and connections as the mast goes up and comes down. Point the forks down when parking the forklift. Maintain three and four points of contact when getting off the forklift. Danger! If anything is not working properly, red tag the forklift and take the key. Notify your supervisor, call a technician. Pre-start inspection review. Read the operator's manual. Check operating and emergency controls, safety devices and brakes, personal protective devices, air, hydraulic and fuel system leaks, cables and wiring, loose and missing parts, tires, wheels and lug nuts, placards, warnings, control markings and manuals, ROPS canopy, forks and fork carriage, and any other items as specified by the manufacturer. Do not operate a forklift that is not operating properly.